Hello everyone. Welcome to Diecast Calls, your source for Hot Wheels, Red Lines, Black Walls in particular, um, you know, box unopenings, mail calls, telephone calls, emails. I collect and buy Red Line and Black Wall Hot Wheels. I do occasionally look for some vintage, really good condition matchbox, dinky, corgi, etc. But mostly it's the Hot Wheels brand, Mattel Hot Wheels from 1968 up into about 1985 primarily. So today we have an exciting box opening. I've been waiting for this baby for a while. So let's get cracking on this box unopening. It is a real special delivery, a mail call that uh, came in yesterday. I've been waiting about, oh, maybe three weeks on this one. It is a um, <clears throat> an assortment of red lines that uh, just wows, it just wowed me. So let's open this up together and I'll take out the contents first. There we go. Okay. So as usual, well packed, well protected. I'll take these little gems out and then I will open up each individually and you can see for yourself along with me what uh, what's in the box right what what's in the box what do we have today let's take a look we got this one a couple more down here okay so that's the box stuff what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lift this up and so that we can see the see this together so here's the first one it says cuda cuda on the outside okay i'm gonna keep i think i know what this one is let's, i'm gonna keep this one to the end i'm gonna keep that one to the end i think i know what that is so let's see the first one here is a beautiful light blue peeping bomb now, one of the reasons I go after this type of uh, this types of cars is because they are colors that Mattel never manufactured in this particular Spectra Flame version. Orange headlights is one of the variations that is a little tough to find. And here you go, we've got some reproduction wheels, nice tail light in the back. That's a nice looking peeping bomb right there. Really sweet. Love those headlights, huh? Isn't that neat? It's a nice one. All right, let's put that one in the back. I'll keep its headlights open. What does this one say? Anything in there? Let's look inside. Really well protected in this uh, in this shipment. Ooh, it says Diora. I remember this from the picture of it. Ooh, beautiful. Reproduction boards in the back, Hong Kong base with painted tail. What a gorgeous car. Beautifully well done. And it's just a little missing paint in the taillight like it should be. Because what we do with some of the cars is reproduce as close as possible to the original red line version. Of course, Mattel did not make this color in the Hong Kong version. And so... Um, there's a couple of boards back there. What a beautiful, beautiful blue Spectra Flame. Restored to perfection. Look at that, baby. Wow, a nice car. All right, this one says, what is it? Could it be? Ooh, this is a Light My Firebird. Let's see what color this is. I think I know. Hot 
hot pink. And what's really cool about this car and the color is when you look at the uh, different angles of the camera, you actually see hues of orange. And that's indicative to the Hong Kong uh, hot pink color that was used on the originals. But of course, as you know, the Light My Fire Bird was not manufactured in hot pink. Beautiful, beautiful car. Look at the grill on there. Absolutely gorgeous. As well as the reproduction roundel placement, the rocker board sticker, paint on the tail lights. Absolutely gorgeous detail on this car. It has that over chrome appearance. Look how the light is shining on, on the finish. See that? You can actually, it's a mirror. You can actually see your image. Look at that engine bay. Isn't that beautiful? Hot pink. Light. My. Okay, how about this one? Let's see. This is. Ooh. So then on the other side of the spectrum, as far as pink goes, this one is actually what we call a rose pink, a rose pink. So look at the difference between the two colors, rose pink, hot pink. See the difference in color? See that? Beautiful, beautiful color. So let's take a look at the nitty gritty kitty. First of all, it's got original wheels. These are original Mattel Hot Wheel Red Lines, done with beautiful rose pink. Look at the shine on this one. Beautiful little addition to your Red Line collection. White interior, just gorgeous. Original nitty gritty kitty base. Of course, those are reproduction roundels are and rivets. Let's see, once I kept that to the end. Let's see here. Okay, so here, open this one up. This one is a, um, oh, okay. So, uh, I'm going to wait this. I'm going to wait on this one. This is, this is one of the beauties. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the, I remember it. I remember the picture. I was like, oh my goodness. That's going to be a showstopper right there. So I'm going to wait till that one towards the end. Not that I'm diminishing anything. Okay, get ready for this one. I can feel it. This is something that you've, I don't think you've ever seen before. This is going to be a car that Mattel never made in this color. In fact, they only made so many of them when they were manufactured at the time. And that is a no sunroof custom Volkswagen in over chrome. Look at that beautiful yellow. Absolutely a showstopper. Custom Volkswagen. Original red line shoes. Gorgeous condition. Look at this. I can see myself in the mirror. I can see my iPhone in the reflection. White interior, no sunroof. Yep, look at the headlights. Always scratched up, right? Or usually. What a beautiful car. Gorgeous. Don't you love it when they turn out like that? Such beautiful cars. There we have the lineup so far. A peeping bomb with orange headlights. A Hong Kong painted tail blue. Diora. Light My Firebird in hot pink, a nitty gritty kitty in rose pink, and a beautiful yellow no sunroof custom. What's this baby here? As long as we have surprises today, let's 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 do some more surprises. What do we have here? Ooh, King Kuda. Oh, also hot pink. There we go. A King Kuda. Not manufactured by Mattel in this color. 
beautiful hot pink. Look at the detail. Look at the roof and how gorgeous the finish is. The white interior accents, the beautiful hot pink color of this car. Stripes and roundels applied with perfection. Original wheels. Look at the uh, look at the spoiler and look at the tail lights. Absolutely showstopper gorgeous. Beautiful car, engine bay, detail, front base. That is a gorgeous car. So I'm gonna mix these up a little bit. I'm gonna put this King Cuda in hot pink next to the rose pink and then we have a hot pink light my fire bird. Let me put these guys together. I got two more. Two more to go. Actually three. And then I look at the a little surprise at the end. <clears throat> All right, here's something you haven't seen before. Look at this one here. Evil Weevil in beautiful orange. Oh, what a car. What a beautiful finish. Gorgeous over chrome. See that shine? Beautiful round placement. Absolutely breathtaking orange color. Beautiful glass. Original wheels. Oh, yeah. Chromey engines. Sunroof works to perfection. Dark interior. What a car. Orange Evil Weevil. There you go, gang. Wow. All right, you got two more. Actually, I'm going to save this one for the end. I'm going to make some room for it because it's a showstopper. Not that the other ones aren't. These are all beautifully redone cars. But this one has, um, has a little variety to it. And I'll tell you what I mean by it. So this one was made specifically for the, the real discriminant collector looking for something a little bit different. Again, <clears throat> a car that was not manufactured by Mattel. So when I open it up, you're gonna say, wait a minute, something's missing. And it is for a reason, I'll show you why. Beautiful yellow custom Barracuda. Now you're saying, well, where are the wheels, Jim? You know where the wheels are? The wheels are going to be your choice. The wheels are going to be your choice. And it's a Hong Kong, so that would mean you'd want the chromey Hong Kong wheels. So what, what we've done is we're going to offer your choice of either original Mattel red lines that are US, which really wouldn't match, or deep dish reproduction wheels. That'll be the choice of whoever would like this. Again, look at over chrome, gorgeous condition, the champagne or dark brown interior, the beautiful finished tinted glass, all buffed out, shined up, absolutely gorgeous. But this is not the showstopper, okay? <laughs> that is not the showstopper. Those are the wheel options right there. Here it is. <clears throat> the one I've been waiting for. The one maybe you've been waiting for. When I opened up the car, um, actually when I opened up the pictures to look at the cars, <clears throat> this one really stood out. And I remember that I've never seen anything like it. How about you? Have you ever seen a brown custom T-Bird? And this one is not just brown. This one has been layered with brown paint and in gorgeous, gorgeous finish. You've got a beautiful top, a little bit matting going on there. See that? Look at the detail on the transition of the matte uh, rooftop and the transition along the back. Look at the curvature. Look how detailed that is. See that? See the detail? Yep. 
and original Hong Kong chromey wheels. All mediums. Look at this car. Beautiful, beautiful condition, obviously, because it's been redone in a color that Mattel never made. I'm going to open up this trunk, this, uh, this hood again. But the only thing is, when you open these things up, is I don't want to get any any type of uh, cowl mark. So I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep the hood closed for now. Just let you drink this one in. Beautiful brown, custom T bird. There it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this little box opening. The beautiful opportunity to acquire <clears throat> any of these cars in unique Redline Hot Wheels condition. Colors that Mattel never made and that you can include in your collection sometime in the future. Sometime soon, these will be available. But until then, I want to thank you for joining me at uh, Diecast Calls over here on YouTube. And if you could uh, please like and subscribe. I have much, much more to show you in beautiful die-cast models. And until then, we wish you the best. All the best to you. Bye-bye.